what you'll need is a 16 inch cable needle size 6. You'll also need matching double pointed needles for finishing off the top of the hat. And you can either use one of your double pointed needles or a cable needle because this hat works with cables so we'll need one of those. A stitch marker and a large eye sewing needle for finishing off our ends. Then you'll need to pick your yarn. I've gone with Bernays Softy Baby in the color flannel. So you want to begin by taking your yarn and your needles and cast on a hundred stitches. So once you've cast on all 100 stitches, you're going to go ahead and slip on your stitch marker and we're going to begin joining in the round. So we're going to work a knit one, purl one, or one by one rib. So we're just going to begin with a knit one, purl one, and repeat that around this whole row and for one and a half inches or for nine rows. So just continue knit one, purl one, and you can go ahead and alter the ribbing if you'd rather. This matches her hat, so that's why I'm doing that. But you can always change up any pattern for any different style, or you can make a thicker rib, thinner, anything that you prefer for your hat. So I'm just going to continue my one by one rib for one and a half inches. So once you've completed your ribbing, now we're going to do our setup and increase row. So you want to start with a repeat of knit eight. Then we're going to purl five. knit 8, purl 4, and now we're going to do a make one purl wise. So you want to lift up the horizontal bar in between your stitches, place it on your left needle. So you're going to come from the back loop and through your stitch. So you come this way through your stitch and you're going to purl. Then you're going to repeat that all the way around. This is going to increase our stitches by 4, so our new stitch count is 104. So for row 1, you want to begin with a repeat of knit 8, purl 5. And repeat that all the way around. Then for row two and all even rows, you want to begin with a repeat of knit eight, purl five. And repeat that all the way around. So for row three, you want to begin with a repeat of knit eight, purl five, and repeat that all the way around. For row five, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight.
purl one, yarn over, purl two together, purl two. Repeat that all the way around. For row seven, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl two. Yarn over. Purl two together. Purl one. And repeat that all the way around. For row nine, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl three. Yarn over, purl two together. And repeat that all the way around. For row 11, we're going to cross our cable. Now that we have our three eyelet holes and half of our cable made up, we're going to cross them now. So you either take your double pointed needle or your cable needle and for row 11, we're going to begin by slipping the first four stitches for our cable onto our needle and we're going to hold it in the back of our work. Then we're going to use our right needle and we're going to knit the remaining four cable stitches. Pull it a little tighter on the first stitch just so we can make sure there's no gap. Then we're going to knit the four on our needle in the back. And now we've just crossed our cable. Then you want to go ahead and purl five. And then you want to repeat that all the way around. So there is our cable pattern. So we have our cable here and our three eyelet holes right here. And it goes all the way around the hat. So you just repeat rows 1 through 12 until you repeat the cable pattern four times, including this one. So then once you complete your four repeats, your hat should be at this point. So now you can clearly see our cable and our eyelet pattern which looks very nice. So now we're going to move on to our decreases. So for row one of our decrease we want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl three. Purl two together. And you want to repeat that all the way around. Then for row two, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl four. repeat that around. 
for row three, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl two, purl two together. And you want to repeat that all the way around. For row four, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl three. And you want to repeat that all the way around. For row five, you want to begin a repeat of knit eight. Purl one, purl two together. And repeat that all the way around. For row six, you want to begin a repeat of SSK decrease. So we slip one, slip one, then we insert our needle in the front of the first stitch and knit them together. Knit four. Knit two together. Purl two together, and repeat that all the way around. For row seven, you want to begin a repeat of SSK. Knit two, knit two together. Purl one, and repeat that all the way around. For row eight, you want to begin a repeat of SSK. Knit two together, purl one, and repeat that all the way around. For row nine, we're going to begin a repeat of knit two together, purl one. And we're going to repeat that all the way around this row, and we're going to end up with only 16 stitches left. Then you're just going to cut your yarn and weave in the top of your hat. So you want to go ahead and just finish weaving in any leftover ends of yarn to complete your hat, and you're finished. Our Hermione inspired hat has been completed and I think this one turned out pretty well. Please let me know down below if you plan on making this and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.